A lot of people simply do not care about feminism. In fact, a good portion of people who actually talk about feminism speak of feminism as if the majority of feminists don't fall in line with the definition of feminism. Fuck you talk fast. Settle down. Any halfway can conclude that if someone doesn't fit the definition of something, then they are obviously not that. North Korea is officially known as the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. But North Korea is not a democratic republic. It's a hereditary dictatorship. Sorry, North Korea. You're not North Korea. A faggot is defined as a bundle of twigs, sticks or branches bound together. But Milo Yiannopoulos isn't a bundle of twigs, sticks or branches bound together. Sorry, Milo. You're not a faggot. A common statement of anti-feminists is that feminists are these extremist crazy people. <laughs> And not people who are all about equal rights. Yeah, but it's not like we just saw a feminist one day minding her own business and all spontaneously decided to call her a crazy extremist. We saw a crazy extremist and found out she was a feminist. <laughs> then we saw another one. Shut the fuck up! And another. Fuck dipshit! And get that camera out of my face! And another. <laughs> so it's a common and justifiable statement, isn't it? Are you ready to kneel down and submit to me? No. Homo. Or do I really have to proceed to humiliating you? You can't humiliate a cartoon bear, dickhead. Here's Emma Watson, a feminist, establishing what feminism is. Fantastic. Here's Beyonce, another gorgeous feminist. Yeah, she's not bad. Who you now, of course, hate and are going to boycott because she supports equality between men and women, right? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm not gonna boycott Beyonce. I don't give a fuck about Beyonce. Yeah, let's fucking do that. Well, you seem pretty keen to boycott Beyonce. Because most every single decent celebrity is a feminist, and you're an anti-feminist obsessed with the idea that most feminists are just the fucking devil's asshole. <laughs> devil's asshole. <laughs> I'm fucking using that. But of course, this person clearly thinks that feminism is comparable to the KKK. He listed a heap of celebrities that are feminists that I've chopped out because it's a waste of fucking time. Like, who gives a fuck what celebrities are feminists? I mean, how's the fact that some cunts are celebrity and a feminist meant to persuade me? Most celebrities are fucking retarded. Like, are we all meant to become Scientologists as well? So you know Hermione from Harry Potter? No, because I'm not fucking six, mate. Apparently she's nearly as or just as bad as Ku Klux Klan members. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. There she is talking about equality between the genders. <laughs> Here's a female celebrity establishing a very good point. She's saying women who renounce feminism are kind of like people who drive cars every single day, who say they don't believe in cars, and yet they love cars because it takes them so many places. Oh, mate, this is going to be a fucking brilliant point. I can feel it. Pwn me, brother. Pwn me. It makes their life so much easier. It does. And they don't know what they do without it. They don't. Fuck cars. <laughs> Right? Fuck cars! Fuck cars! Fuck cars! In the ass! Because shitting all over cars is so fucking popular right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't fucking... No, I, I, I can't. No. <laughs> shitting on cars. I use the fucking facts, and that's how you fucking win. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Unlike all those fucking idiot anti-feminists who don't respect definitions. What is it with you and the fucking dictionary definition? Every video you make where you chuck a tantrum about feminism, you almost dogmatically cling to that fucking dictionary definition. Feminism is the advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. But again, geniuses, the same definition as always. Feminist is someone who just wants equal rights to men. Keyword, equal. The advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. Feminism's all about women being equal to men. Equal, 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 equal. This poxy definition is the backbone of your argument, making your argument a piss-weak one. See, modern dictionaries are descriptive in nature not prescriptive. In other words, it's the general consensus that defines words. The dictionary is just where we write those definitions down. Macmillan Dictionary was the first to modify its definition of the word marriage in 2013, from the relationship between two people who are husband and wife, to the relationship between two people who are husband and wife, or a similar relationship between people of the same sex. Around the same time, Australia's then Prime Minister Julia Gillard delivered a scathing speech to her opposition leader, peppered with accusations of misogyny. This caught the attention of Macquarie Dictionary. Previously, misogyny meant the hatred of women, the kind that's pathological. But thanks to 20 or 30 years of feminists broadening their use of the word, and our lovely red-headed PM speech, misogyny now means an entrenched prejudice against women.
In other words, one doesn't need to have a deliberate hatred for women to be a misogynist. You can now earn that title through complacency. And the most cancerous update so far, as of 2012, the word literally can now also mean figuratively. Yep, the word literally can now be used to describe its exact opposite. So according to most dictionaries, a fuckwit statement like, When I saw the new Anissian video, my head literally exploded, is actually fucking legit. <laughs> When it comes to the dictionary definition of feminism, we only need two words changed to reflect reality. The advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social and economic superiority over men. Think about it, Onion. We've seen the definition of literally, literally changed to literally include literally. Like the kind of literally that's the complete opposite of literally. Changing two words in the definition of feminism doesn't seem that unrealistic, does it? And when that happens, your argument's fucked. Over the last couple of months, I've had a shitload of people request that I do a video about Onion Man, and up until now, I've been reluctant to do one. Not because I'm worried about getting fucking decimated, or even the onslaught of 12-year-old abuse that's coming. I've been reluctant because I'm not convinced he believes what he's saying. This might come as a shock for some of you, but I've actually got a bit of respect for Onion Man. Despite the retarded shit he spews in his videos, credit where credit's due, the bloke knows what he's doing. Between all of his YouTube channels, he gets around 45 million views per month. Just to put that in perspective, if you took all of the views that my channel has ever had, doubled it and then added a bit more, that's how many views this guy gets in a month. He's pulling in some serious, serious ad revenue. And despite the retarded drivel we see in his videos, <coughs> this guy's actually a pretty fucking sharp operator. I mean, he publishes a video and scores of content creators like myself feverishly get to work making response videos to him, sending him a fuck ton of traffic in the process. Now, I truly believe all of the things that I say on my channel, but if I had the opportunity to earn obscene amounts of cash by saying something that I didn't, would I do it? Dunno. Would you? You know, watching my channel grow as quickly as it has, has been fucking incredible. It's nice to know that there's so many people out there who enjoy watching my videos as much as I enjoy making them. Like anyone else, I've got cubs to feed and bills to pay, so I really appreciate all the support that I get. It allows me to create and publish better videos at a faster rate. If you'd like to throw something in the hat as well, you can either support my videos on a continuing basis through Patreon, or by making a one-time donation via PayPal. You'll find links in the description. If you can't or don't want to, that's okay too. You can help my channel grow by liking and sharing this video. Thanks for watching.